complete Airtable project management tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Airtable for your project management. So let's get into it. Now, first off, Airtable is a project management software which you can use on your web browser for free. So let's get into the sign up process by clicking up on sign up for free over here. And now you're going to be led to the sign up form and you're just going to enter your work email or you can sign up with Google. So I'm just going to sign up with my Google account and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you have entered your email and your name, you're going to be led to the teaming section where you're going to select what kind of team you're working on. You can skip with those questions, but I find that if you answer them, you're going to have your sign up process simplified. So let's go with sales and account management and you can add emails as well for people that are working with your team. But I'm going to skip that for now and I'm going to skip this and I'm going to go to my home section. Now, on Airtable, this is going to be your home page. So the home page is the basis page. So the home page is the basis page where you can see your different workspaces. So this is your first workspace. You can add more workspaces from the bottom left over here. And then you're going to go into interfaces where you can design your interface to have a more clear idea of what workspace you're looking into. So Interfaces is a new feature that has just been introduced that you're going to find more actionable in the coming year. But right now, Interfaces is still working and you can still get a good look at your different workspaces in different ways. So getting started with Airtable, first off, you're going to go into the template section where you're going to find diff different templates for you to get started with. So you can pick out any template that you want and get on to customize it to your own. So you're just going to look at the industry you're working on and let's say we're doing marketing over here and we're going to look for templates that are related to marketing and we're going to find them on Airtable and then you can just select a template and get started with that or you can create a empty workspace as well but for this video i'm going to start off with a template to show you guys how it's going to actually look like once you enter your own data as well so let's just take the marketing campaign tracking template and you're just going to open up this template now after that you're just going to click on use template and now you can create a new workspace to add this to but i only have one so i'm just going to add this base to my singular workspace and now this space is being added and now you can see this is a totally different space for my actual process of project management so first off you can see everything has been very simplified now you can see over here that you have a basic little setup now you can close the side application over here and on the left you're going to see a basic table so you have your all campaign section you have a gantt view and you have a basic dashboard below that you have a create section where you can start creating different views so if you want a timeline view if you want a gallery view you can all you can add them from here now after that you have your second list which is called ad sets and this is a separate list you can see ads in creative you can customize these different cards so each of Little item over here that you place is called a card and you can customize them as well and after that you have your results section so this is the results section in the template it looks like a excel sheet but you can change up the view so you can add maybe a kanban view for this and once you add a kanban view you can select a grouping field so we have the next steps grouping field the way that the items have been categorized you're going to click on done over here now you can see all of that stuff in the kanban view but if you want to go into a different view you can view that as well so if we want to go to a timeline view you can go there and click on timeline and you can just view that on the timeline view and then you can select all of the stuff you want to have on the view. You're going to click on done. And now you can see because this project doesn't have a lot of due dates, it, there isn't much to see on the timeline. But you can see that you can add different views to the same list as well. Now after that, you can add or import import new tables so you can import a csv file from microsoft excel or from google sheets or you can even paste from apple numbers asana trello calendars xml or microsoft access so depending on where you have been keeping your data you can import it over here as well now after you have your basic workspace on Airtable, you're going to see that you can add different bases to a singular workspace or you can create a new workspace. So let's say that I am going to rename this workspace into item one. And all the stuff that is in item one is going to be related to item one. But maybe I'm launching a totally different item for a totally separate business. And I want to have a marketing campaign tracking for that as well. So for that, I'm, like, I'm just going to go into the add workspace section. And I'm going to click on new workspace. And I'm going to say brand two item one. 
and this is going to help me separate all of my data so this is going to keep all of the data non-shareable so you can't share data directly from one workspace to the other and this is going to help you in the long run for not having your work messed up and your schedules messed up with different businesses or different plans or projects that you're running now next up on your Airtable section you're going to go into the marketplace where you're going to be able to find different integrations for your Airtable project management software and it's very essential that you actually do take a good look at the marketplace to see what are the different applications you can add depending on your need now usually if you're running any kind of shopify store i would suggest that you add a shop table or a shop or e-commerce platform integration into your Airtable project manager uh, that is one that i like to use personally to make sure that all of my e-commerce needs are met on my project management software as well so you can add any of these to track time do email marketing you can do uh you can see email marketing for you can have send grid for email marketing and then you can click on view all apps to see a larger list of the apps applications you can integrate now you might be wondering all of these features are great but are they all available for free well Airtable has four basic plans. First off, they have the free version where you can create unlimited bases. You can have 1200 records per base. You have two gigabytes of attachments per base. And then you have grid, calendar, Kanban form, and gallery views. Now, after that, you have the plus version, which starts at $10 per seat per month. So each member is going to be paying $10. But if you build this monthly, you're going to be paying 12. And you get 5,000 records per base. You can have five gigabytes of attachments, six month revisions snapshot history then you have one sync table per base so what a sync table basically means is that if i go onto my workspace on Airtable, now you can see over here i have this little uh, work base so with a work base maybe i want a dashboard so if i just open up the base and i want to add a dashboard i can easily just click on add table and then add a dashboard from here, create an empty table and then add my dashboard. But on the free version, you're not gonna be able to have like a quick summary for your entire workspace via a table or dashboard. So after that, you also have automatic table syncing. So if I move something in the results section or if I move something in the ad set section like this, and uh, I'm changing something over here. So if I change this to, maybe if I change this, and remove some of the details over here maybe i unlink this unlink this now what this is going to do is not only is this going to unlink it in the ad set section but it's going to unlink it in the entire platform so if i go into the campaign section and anything that was unlinked to this uh, ad set is going to be unlinked and that is going to help me keep track of all of the data that is being crossed in within a separate list within a singular interface or within a singular base so after that you have the Pro version of Airtable, which starts at $20 per seat per month, you get unlimited applications, 50,000 records per base, 20 gigabytes of attachments, you have one year of revisions and snapshot history, and you get personal and locked views with field and table editing permissions. Now, after that, you have your enterprise version, and this is for companies on, that are working on a larger scale, and usually most people or businesses don't even need that because there are a lot of features that you can just get on the pro version, and there isn't a lot accessible on the enterprise version, which you couldn't find on any other platform. So that is a basic overview of their pricing usually i would say start with the free version and then upgrade to the pro i wouldn't suggest the plus version because in my opinion it doesn't uh fall as good as the pro version i feel like some of the features on it are just better served on the pro version and you're going to get a lot more for your extra money on the pro version as well now going back to the basic air table you can see that you can go onto the interfaces section now and start designing your own interface so let's say i like pink and i want to make my entire space pink i can add that using the interface section of airtable right now this isn't exactly functionable but there are some people that are beta testers and you can become a beta tester to start testing this as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to use airtable as your project management tool make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the the next video.